I wondered why more more of the white supremacists really didn't show up in this town. I mean, he he was getting the press that he wanted. He was making this point. He actually had a pretty clever plan. And so what happened? Yeah, I mean, as far as we know, and you know, we, we learned a lot of this from the Southern Poverty Law Center, is just that uh, the white supremacist movement right now is pretty fractured and disjointed, and there's not a lot of organization or sort of there's a lot there's a lot of different groups and factions, and Craig Cobb has actually been kicked off several of these websites. So there's a lot of infighting. Um, so yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of organization, even though you know via the internet they're all able to communicate and potentially sort of you know get new members and that sort of thing. There's not sort of real world uh, leaders uh, or people in real life. So and Cobb told this as much that he was pretty frustrated that that the sort of young people in the movement didn't come out and, and heed his call. Did anybody actually, you know, I know he gave plots of lands to, to Tom Metzger and a couple of other people. Did anybody else besides the two of them move out there? No. no um, I mean, he was, you know, kind and Dutton and his wife or girlfriend and, and, their, and the children. Um, but, uh, you know, you saw Jeff Scoop come for the town hall meeting. And um, Tom Metzger never showed up, as far as we know. And Alex Linder never showed up. Uh, they still technically own the, the plots. And... Uh, um, I think Tom Metzger had written an, an open letter saying he was going to, you know, have some sort of monument built on his land, like I, a swastika, like a swastika yeah. monument. But that was a bit, that was a while ago. So I wish I, I had known about this. A free house sounds great. I would have just you know, <laughs> would have told him I was Jewish later. Um, 